natural eye look. I'd often done my brows and crying to my face, but now I'm gonna zoom you in so we can work on the eyes. So as you can see, so, so I'm gonna be using the V's palette today because I love this palette so much. I love all these colors, but these colors are the best. So today we're gonna do a natural look. So I'm gonna use the JH 36, and I'm gonna get it buffed. This buff shade looks really good. I'm gonna go for that and just pop it on. Oh, look at this buff shade. I like this buff shade. And this is just gonna be a very natural look. So we say so natural, I'm just gonna blend up and use a bit of Seattle or something like that. I'm not good at saying things. I'm just gonna wing it out. If you wing it up, it makes your eye lifted. Which is kind of cool. And you're just doing natural look so the one you can thingy the two together and it just be nice and natural. Now we're going to do some liquid eyeliner with this. So I'm going to do some liquid eyeliner. I've got the Benefit Roller Liner. I'm just going to do a brown liquid liner just to keep it nice and soft because that's what we're going for. We're going for a natural kind of look. So now we're going to do the in. I'm going to go all the way in. You can do whatever you like. I'm going to go all the way in. You can do it whatever you like. You can you know, you can sometimes go to the heart if you want to. But I like I like this pen as well. I'm not going to do that quite yet. I'm going to do a primer, and the primer I'm going to use is two primers. One, I'm going to fill in my pores, which is from the e.l.f., and two is from the other, and I'm going to let this like sit on my skin for about you know, 15 min 10 minutes, five, 10 minutes, so it can actually sink in. Next, I'm just going to do some primer. That was the system with T-Sign. I'm just going to use the Huda Beauty Primer. The water chili. This is so good. I like it so much. I like it. I'm just going to oh, wait for that to go tacky onto my skin because I'm going to go around my eyebrows with a concealer. Now, I normally don't put concealer on the back of my hand because you get more concealer on your hand when you do the brush. So I'm just going to do just go around the brows because I've already done the brows, so I need to go around them. I'm going to use this brush. Foundation I'm going to use. I haven't done use this in a while, so I thought I'd use it. It's the Huda Beauty Stick Foundation, and it's in the shade Tres Leche. Tres Leches. Tres Leches. Tres Leche. It's in 320G, and I like this really much. It is really nice. It is. You can build it up to a light coverage or to a full coverage. No, to a medium coverage. If you go too full, it does get a little bit cakey, so don't do that. It's one day to just apply it. Some people say when you apply it, it doesn't really move around. There is a tip to moving it around. So what you can do with your brush, is you can stir up with circular motions. And now just circular motions. 
it's hard yeah and I never get the I always get really nice it's not all built in one place that's what people don't realize if you if you, if you tap it in like that it's not going to see so foundation's done takes a while but at least it's done now it's concealer and concealer I do on this way in the shade almond I go here 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 and then for the eyes it's in the corner right here so I do like a little thing in the corner and then I go up and that will lift your face go in the corner like here like here in the corner and then straight up and straight up we do want to do it is if you imagine you have a triangle right there so you can finger right there and then go up so if you have it right there you think it there and go up so it's like a triangle but you don't want to put too much on so then we can take I'm just gonna take this brush and just pat it in and then I said I do not bake if you've got dry under eyes or you've got wrinkles I tend not to bake I tend not to bake anymore, so basically what I'm going to do is take some powder, dust it off and just press it under and look up. So again, you look up because when you look up all your wrinkles will go. And as you can see, when you look down you still have wrinkles but there's no lines in your foundation because or there's no powder lines because that's fine and then with the rest of the face I'm just gonna tap 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 now I'm just going to do the bottom of my I'm gonna do my lower lash line because I like to have it onto my lower lash line as well I'm just gonna get a pencil brush and get the shade probably the shade buff and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a brush like this and get chow and buff together and then I'm just going to put it I'm just going to drag it out like this I don't know why I just love dragging this out just a little bit higher no, just to drag it out let's see I'm just going to drag this out like that now what I'm going to do is go back with the roller lash, the eyeliner, and do something that I don't normally do. I haven't done this in ages, but I've just created a, I'll bring a place on, I've just created a point, so might as well look like foxy eyes, but then go up if you know what I mean, because of the point. Now it's time for lashes, even though I haven't done the rest of my face. Gonna have lashes. I will do that when I get off camera, so I think it'd be easy for me. None of these are bronzer. I can probably take these now. I'm gonna leave them up just for the bronzer. I'm gonna take the foundation bronzer from. I'm gonna take the foundation powder from Primark and just. Mm, just gonna go a little bit higher with this because I want my thing to go up. So I'm not going to take it down here, I'm just going to take it up here. I don't want anything to be lifted. So if you want to, you can, when you do hair up, if you pull this bits, your actual hair, your actual face will get lifted and have that face look that you want. Now we're going to do blush, and blush is going to be the same thing, you're going to have it lifted. I'm going to use the V blush from, and it's called Piazza. And I want this lifted as well. Now it's time for highlighter, and highlighter is going to be the same thing, you just have, you just want it to lift gold and I just want it I don't want it all the way down I just want it up here so I'm going to say get that lifted effect but you can see it but when I turn to the side that's what I want so I'm not going to bring it all the way down I'm just going to put it here I'm just going to put some setting spray on my face so all my pad is going to be like it doesn't matter how much you put on you can put on a lot of little doesn't matter and then I use a big beef plate just to 
I'm just gonna put some bottom lashes on because I didn't, I didn't do that. Now for the lips. Okay, I'm gonna put on the Huda Beauty lip, no, lip lipstick in the shade Wednesday because I haven't used this in a while. And this is a natural look and I can have a proper colour. And this is the shade Wednesday. I like it, I really do like it. It's so beautiful. And this is the look that I've got going for, but this look I've got going for, very natural, very, I like the way I've done my makeup this time because everything's very lifted, it's very up, and I actually kind of like it that way, it's kind of up and lifted, I did put some Huda Beauty powder there just to basically sharpen that so it can look really lifted, so if you do sharpen it underneath it will look lifted, especially with the eyes, I've got them like winged out and everything. But I do like the look. The reason why I'm looking glowy is because I use my Pixi Glow Mist. I'm gonna definitely get my Morphe one back, the continuous Morphe setting spray, because that's only 16 pack and it is so good. But this is the look. Um, I actually like it. It looks very pretty. It's really nice. I like it. So guys, I hope you do enjoy this video. And please subscribe, like, and see you guys in the next one. Bye.